Do you want a weed-free lawn this year? If so, you clicked on the right video. Coming up, I talk all about pre-emergent. I tell you why you should care about it, when to apply it, and finally, how to apply it. Let's get started. Pre-emergent is one of the most important aspects of having a weed-free lawn. It's basically a specialized herbicide that interrupts the weed's ability to grow roots. If you apply pre-emergent to your lawn, the, one of the big things you're gonna find is like uh, your common weeds like crabgrass and other broadleaf weeds are gonna have a much harder time germinating. So for any seeds that are currently in the soil, um, when soil temps get to where they need to be for them to germinate, uh, this, this product is gonna suppress the ability for the, for the weeds, so the seeds to grow roots, thus you know, killing it or preventing it from, from growing in the first place. So when and how should you apply it or how often should you apply it? Ideally, you wanna have pre-emergent applied once soil temps reach 50 to 55 degrees. Um, again, because the name is pre-emergent, you want it, the pre means you wanna have the product put down before weeds emerge, hence the name pre-emergent. So uh, as far as the number of times per year, ideally in the spring and in the fall. So in Georgia, where I happen to be, uh, that typically means between late January to early March. And then if you're doing a fall application, which I recommend, uh, that typically means when soil temps fall below 70 degrees. So again, in Georgia, that's gonna mean um, August, September timeframe. The, the product we're gonna be using today is a, um, is a water dispersal granules, kind of a mouthful. It's called prodiamine. Um, before we get into actually how to measure it, how to mix it, all this kind of stuff I'm gonna show you guys, we gotta cover a few things you're gonna need. So, first of all, you're gonna need a backpack sprayer. This is my Flowzone um, Typhoon 2, it's a four gallon sprayer. That's gonna become important um, as far as the capacity when we come to measuring the product. You are going to need um, some way to measure it. So you're gonna need a measuring container and a, and a precise scale, like an ounce scale, like what I have here. And then finally, as you can see, I'm all garbed up, you're gonna need um, some PPE. So you wanna make sure you have gloves, protect your hands, you wanna keep yourself off your skin, uh, long sleeve uh, tire, and then uh, boots. I wash my, my clothes after I finish applying this stuff and I take a shower too, but I'm kind of overkill. But at the minimum, you wanna make sure that all your, your skin is covered up. And then even though I don't have them on right now because it would look weird on camera, I've got a set of safety glasses that you wanna have, you wanna wear as well, uh, as well too. So, Okay, so getting back to how to measure this now. Now that we, we've covered the tools you need, um, we talked about why you wanna care about pre-emergent, um, how we're we gonna we measure it. So the rate for um, prodiamine, the reason why this one is such an awesome pre-emergent is that it's cost effective and it works on both cool season and warm season grass. So now you cool season guys always say, hey Ron, is there any content for us, what's going on? Uh, well, I've got you guys covered because this product prodiamine um, will work on both cool season and warm season grasses. So the rate for warm season grasses, most warm season grasses anyway, like Bermuda, your zoysias, um, is a, a maximum of 0.83 ounces uh, per year, per thousand square feet per year. So that, the key part about that is the maximum um, rate. So if you're going to um, apply this at max rate, which is what we're gonna do today on Alex's lawn, um, the, the 0.83, um, or in the case we're probably measuring about 0.80, but the 0.80 um, rate that we're gonna go with, just give ourselves a little bit of headroom, um, that means that this is, we can only apply this in the spring. Meaning if we're gonna apply pre-emergent in the fall, we have to use something like uh, uh, Dithiopia or something different. So just know that. If you go with the max rate, that means you're done for the year as far as um, prodiamine goes. So again, we're gonna go with a rate of 0 0.80 uh, to give ourselves a little bit of headroom um, uh, for, uh, for Alex's lawn, and that's for warm season grass. If you're dealing with a cool season grass, the rate is typically lower, it's 0 0.50, so half an ounce. Um, per per year max. But again, these are rates um, that, that I looked up um, prior to making this video, but be sure to read the product label because there are some exceptions if you've like recently seeded your lawn or um, th those types of things. So these, these are just general uh, ballpark numbers. Because our rate, just to make our math easy, is 0.80 per thousand square feet, and we have a four gallon backpack sprayer, um, we are going to end up um, putting, uh, multiplying that, that 0.80 by four. So we're gonna end up measuring out 3.2 ounces. Because the, the idea when you're using um, a, a gallon backpack sprayer is you want to use a dilution rate or apply the product at a rate of about one gallon per thousand square feet. So because we have four gallons, we're gonna cut 4,000 square feet of coverage. Now, the important thing about this is that that's based on uh, knowing that you have your, your, your backpack sprayer calibrated, meaning you know how, how long it takes for your particular sprayer to output a gallon of product. For the flow zone, um, at the higher rate, at the 115 psi rate, you're gonna have a, you're gonna have 91 seconds to cover 1,000 square feet. If you run it at the lower 70 psi rate, this is a dual um, dual pressure um, model, so you can you can put between 70 psi or 115 psi. If you run it at the lower rate, you're gonna have 106 seconds to walk 1,000 square feet. If you're using the Chapin backpack sprayer, 
in that case, you're gonna have 160 seconds because of the pressure of the, the chafing is a lot lower. It's like between 35 to 40 PSI. So with that one, you're gonna have a lot more time to cover a thousand square feet. So, all right, so let's get to mixing it. We've covered that. So what you're gonna need now, Alex, I'm sure you wanna come in here so a little closer, is you're gonna need a gram scale and this and the, and the actual product. So a couple ways to do this. What I do is I use the measuring container. I put it on the scale first and then I turn it on. And the scale should read zero. You see my mine is set to ounces. So yeah, so, so right here, I'm not sure if you can see that. Yep, so this is set to ounces, so you're showing it zero all across the board. So what we're gonna do now is we're going to take the prodiamine and we're gonna slowly add it until we get to 3.2 ounces. So very carefully here. So I'm just gonna let these granules come out really easy. And I'll just keep looking at the scale as, it, as the weight goes up. And there we go, 3.2, awesome. So the reason why these are called, again, water dispersal granules, let me seal this back up, put it down here, is you can see what those look like. It's, um, it's like little pellets, little yellow pellets, that um, when you put mix them in water, they're gonna break up, okay? Awesome, so we can turn our scale off. And now here's the thing, what I'm, you guys will notice here, the, uh, the product I'm using, this, this uh, Primera One, this is a five pound jug. This will cover, uh, at the high rate, 96,000 square feet. Uh, so it's, this is plenty of product. Now, if you have a smaller lawn, what I'm also gonna have, uh, if I can get a picture of it, I'll put it up here on, on the screen somewhere, um, but there's also a five ounce container that covers 6,000 square feet. So you don't need to buy this one, you just get the big one if you have a smaller lawn, um, but I'll, I'll have the links for this in the description, the five ounce or the smaller one if you have a 6,000 square foot lawn in the description, um, and as well as for the Flow Zone Typhoon 2 in the description as well. Okay, so in addition to um, applying this product, if you're applying a herbicide, I, especially the first time you're doing it, I recommend using a marking dye. I've already measured some out here. The one I'm using here is one from, uh, from Blue Laser, but you can see I've measured out about half an ounce of, uh, of marking dye that I'll be adding to the container once we are, um, are ready to go. All right, so now let's get to how we actually go about filling this. Uh, you want to fill this halfway with water, add the product to add the marking dye and then agitate it um, before going to apply to the lawn. So we'll do that now, grab my hose here and we shall uh, fill it up. So when you're doing this, an important thing is you don't wanna put, don't stick the hose down inside the sprayer to fill it like this, this is the big no-no. You don't wanna get the product or to contaminate the hose at all. So ideally you wanna keep it out and just spray like this. So we will uh, get this halfway full. All right, so we're about halfway there. And now we're about to handle our product for mixing it, so it's time for the glasses to come on. So safety first, right guys? All right. So first thing we're gonna do is we're going to add our 3.2 ounces of prodiamine to the, um, to the tank. So we'll add this in here now, just like so. And then I like to also rinse this to get, to get any remaining out. So very slowly, very low pressure. I'm just gonna just run a little bit of water in here swirl that around and pour that in as well. We'll do a proper rinse, but now I've got, you know, the product in there. And, and so what we can do now to kind of get, the, get this agitated is I have a, a, uh, a drill with a mixer on here. So we'll just add this down in the tank, don't, don't let it bottom out, and just run it really slowly inside here to kind of agitate the mixture. And let's also add our marking dye. This is important, again, if, if you are new to using a, um, to spring herbicides, I highly recommend marking dye. So just so you can make sure you don't over apply. So again, the same thing here, I'm not sure you guys can see this, but I'm just, I'm just rinsing that out, getting the dye out of this container and uh, into the sprayer. So this is gonna allow us to see what you end up with. And this stuff is really good. The, the Blue Laser um, product I really like because it doesn't, um, it doesn't permanently stain any, uh, any driveways or anything like that. There we go. And now we're gonna, again, we're gonna be applying this on the flow zone at the higher 115 PSI rate. So let's go over and take a look at Alex's lawn. We can actually spray this and I'll show you guys how to apply the, how to apply the prodiamine. And you notice, you see how the dye is making it really easy to see where I've sprayed. Come back. Just like that. Now remember, at, this, uh, at that 115 PSI rate, you are going to want to have some pep in your step when you're walking. I mean, it, it's 90 seconds to cover a thousand square feet. You guys see right now I'm doing a trim pass to kind of fill out the, uh, the perimeter. The nice thing about this, reason why we decided to shoot this video today is the forecast calls for a lot of rain, about just under an inch of rain, which is perfect when you're applying prodiamine because it's perfect because you want about an inch, about half an inch, the, the, the label calls for a half an inch of water to water the product in, and we're gonna get that for free. You can get that from irrigation or from rainwater, so uh, you can't be free, right? So I'll continue applying this. 
Very good. So you guys can see, it's really easy with that marking die where you've got the, um, where you got, where, where the product has been. So I'm gonna go back and forth, I'm gonna sweep back and forth now to fill in here. Good, so that whole area is covered. Now we're just gonna go back and forth and finish, finish applying the product. So here's the thing with Prodiamine. Ideally, a lot of, um, a lot of the lawn care services will use a nozzle with, with like a, almost like a shower head, which is like, which puts out like bigger droplets, which is a little bit better for applying pre-emergent. This, the sprayer that, I, this is the nozzle that I'm using here, this can work just fine. The, um, the 25 degree green tip that the shape, that the, sorry, that the flow zone comes with, uh, just as long as you water it in heavily afterwards. And we're gonna get that with the rainwater, so. And that's the process, guys. Just back and forth, rinse and repeat until you are done with the entire lawn. Hope you guys found this useful. As I said earlier, the Prodiamine backpack sprayer, also that five ounce container that's gonna save you some money. All of that stuff will be in the description as well as um, the, the gloves that I'm, that, I'm, that I'm using. Hope you guys found this useful. Please like, share, comment. If you're not a subscriber, consider subscribing. I will see you guys next time. I wish you guys a weed-free lawn. Have an amazing day.